This video demonstrates the different steps in whole mount immunohistochemistry in chick embryo using HRP conjugated secondary antibodies. First, the embryo is fixed in paraformaldehyde. Then, endogenous peroxidase activity is quenched. The embryo is then incubated in primary antibody. After several washes, the embryo is incubated in secondary antibody conjugated to HRP. Color reaction is revealed using DAB substrate and antibody staining appears orange. The advantage of this method over the use of fluorescent antibodies is that embryos can be processed for wax sectioning, thus enabling the study of antigen sites in cross section. Hi, I'm Delphine from the laboratory of Rick Finel at the Center for Environmental and Genomic Medicine at Texas A&M in Houston. Today we will show you a procedure for performing whole mount antibody stainings in chick embryos using HRP conjugated antibodies. We use this procedure in the lab to study the morphology of embryos following treatment with antiepileptic drugs. So let's get started. To perform whole mount immunohistochemistry on chick embryos, First, open an egg by tapping the shell with forceps and removing pieces of the shell. Remove the thick albumin with forceps and tilt the yolk sac with coarse forceps so that the embryo faces upwards. Next, use fine scissors to cut a square of yolk sac around the embryo. Remove the embryo from the yolk with a spoon and place in a dish.